and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. I did forget my intro, as per usual, boys. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to go down below. Drop the sub button for your boy. Let's get a, let's get let's get us a seven K as soon as we can. Also, comment down below what you're gonna think of these veterans and how what are your personal opinions, because mine are not so great on these. Also, turn on the notification bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video. And make sure to like the video. Let's get this video to 85 likes. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Poodle back, one of the Madden Ultimate Team video guys, and today we got the veterans. Now, as a whole, veterans have been pretty underwhelming as a whole and have really been you can't really be too excited about them at the moment just because of the nature of how these cards are coming out they're typically slow bad stats decently old names like nothing huge same with flashbacks nothing too exciting just yet with them now i haven't actually had a yeah i haven't actually had a chance to like enjoy them as a whole just because nothing about them is usable for me and i think for most people right now now the new veterans i believe are pierre garcon and yeah, I don't know the other one. Yeah, the other one's a the other one's a blur. But all I know is that neither one of them are really that useful. So there are the clutch packs right now in store, by the way, which I didn't get to go over yesterday because I didn't get to make my video because of some technical difficulties. There's the 11 clutch bundle, four of them for 5,850. I heard these are actually pretty good, but I don't know if I'd recommend them over like a gridiron bundle. The percentage is 5.8 for 86 plus, and the game changer bundle. 5.5 so i guess they do a better probability for some apparent reason i guess there's more guaranteed elites but there's the 84 plus here so it all depends on if you rather an 84 plus guaranteed or just 11 basic elites these are pretty much juiced up elite packs i guess you can call these in theory right well now anyways back to the veterans i believe it was it was pierre garcon and uh, jamal williams if, I, if, I, if, I'm, if i'm correct or tramon williams it was tramon or jamal williams and it was pierre garcon now, like I said, these veterans have been overall underwhelming. If you looked at them from start to finish so far, or start to current, their stats are really bad. Like, there's nothing usable about these cards. If you're coming over to veteran cards, let's see, like, you, as you can see, like, Prince of Mukamara, he's one of the better ones, actually, but he's not good. Lorenzo Alexander, I call it the slow promo. Every card in this promo is always slow, underwhelming, and not that useful. So I'm not really sure why, I don't really know why they would make some of these cards a little better. Do you, like, do you understand? Like, it doesn't make sense to me. Like, we want usable cards. And like, people are like, oh, but these cards are low overall. Sorry, not everyone can buy packs. Well, this is nothing to do with buying packs. These cards are just like disgusting. Like, there's, even if you didn't buy packs, I hope this isn't what you're buying. I think there should be some better options. We actually have the Pierre Garçon on the block right about now. Pierre Garçon, 85 overall, wide receiver. He's got 83 speed, 85 jumping. 86 catching, 80 catching traffic, 85 catch, 85 spec and catch, 79 route running, 78 medium route running, and 77 deep route running, six feet tall. So, of course, this card's ass. Like, look at it. Catching traffic is low. He can't route run, and he's known as like a slot like route running kind of guy. And he's slow, can't route run, decent catching, six feet tall. Let's see, what, let's see if he's any like underlying stats that like could be useful. Agility's okay. Excel's okay. Awareness is good. Let's see. Carrying. Carrying's actually not that bad. Pat, run blocking, eh. Kick returning, eh. Elusiveness, truck. Okay, so he actually has decent trucking for some reason for a running back. I mean, for a wide receiver. Stiff arm spin move low. Juke moves okay. Besides that, he's got nothing that really stands out. B press 79. Great tackle 75. This card as a whole, I just can't. I can't even record, even with abilities, like if you drop some abilities on him, he can't route run. He's pretty much, like Tyreek Hill can't route run, but he has an 89 speed. This guy just can't route run. He's like just a sloppy receiver, like he's like a tight end. This card's literally my George Kittle. If I can compare him to Kittle, you'd see. And Kittle's probably better too. See, that's what I'm saying. These cards are just so underwhelming. I just don't understand the point of these. I don't, I don't like ranting like this at all times, every time I make a video, or like when I make veteran videos. But flashbacks and veterans just haven't been useful. It's like Brandon Marshall 2.0. Look at this. Brandon Marshall. A faster Brandon Marshall. Michael Bennett is actually decent. Fitzpatrick was actually decent. Eric Weddle's okay at best. Like, okay at best. There's a few good ones, but those, only, those are based on the speed. Like, they don't have a high enough speed. Like, Frank Gore. 
Horrible. Let's see what else is horrible. I know there's more than just that, yeah. I mean, Eric Weddle and Sullivan are... I mean, Sullivan's okay only because he's a center. Like, linemen are useful. But he's not even that good either. Yeah, so let's check out the newer ones that are about to be posted. The new one should be either Tremone or Jamal Williams. I couldn't really tell you which one is which because the picture, they both had dreads, and I'm pretty sure in real life they both had dreads at a point. So I couldn't really tell you. But Jamal, I can't imagine either one of those good. Tremone Williams is going to be a slow cornerback. Or if it's Jamal Williams, it's going to be a slow running back with no no ball carrier moves, no, no carrying. Like, I can't imagine that card being anything better than a running back three that you have Nat on your team at best. Like, he's not going to be usable. That's what I don't understand. I don't want them not making veteran cards usable at the moment. It just doesn't exactly add up to me. All right, so now we're waiting for this Jamal Williams to post. And, of course, he's not going to post because probably no one's opening veteran packs. That makes sense. If you're opening veteran packs, you're just losing coins. I completely like, understand why no one's opening them. And, guys, quick thing, real quick, just to tell you for yesterday's content video, I had to go do something. I had some technical difficulties on top of that. I could not get my uh, thing back up yesterday, which, as default, my views are a little down for the past few days, obviously. I don't know. I think it's just because of NBA coming out, so I don't know if that's, like, uh, affecting Madden a little bit, but I also missed the video. But it is what it is. Still trying to make up for it with extra vids. Of course, another Garcon's up, but no Jamal Williams. Okay, so I'm going to be showing the cards from Mudhead because apparently it's never going to be posted on Madden. I, it's kind of annoying how it's been happening a lot lately, like, Doing content videos at 10.30 have been a, like a drag because EA's either late on them, they don't drop them right away, people aren't pulling them right away, or people just don't care for the promo, so there's no cards in the block. But, Tremont Williams, like I said, he's 6 feet tall, 192 pounds, he only has an 80 speed. I kind of expected that, like I said before, he's going to be slow. And it was Tremont Williams. Free safety, I mean, 80 is not the worst for a free safety, but I thought Earl Thomas was slow, and he only has like an 82. Excel, 83, not horrible. Agility, 82, eh. Man, man coverage is an 81. His own coverage is an 84, 83 press, jumping is an 83, awareness is 88, and 88 player X. That's not horrible. 73 catching, 68 pursuit, 59 tackle, 46 hit power, hybrid free safety. Let's see what his other things are here. Does he has high motor, and that's about it for his abilities. I mean, as a whole, this card's underwhelming too. Like, if you're gonna, it's literally the slow promo. It's so irritating. If you're gonna make a card, at least make him like. So, Give him something. Give a veteran something. Like, Frank Gore should have given him, like, 90 truck. But make him slow. But no, he has bad truck. Or at least Tremont Williams, he's a safe make. Maybe give him, like, 90 zone coverage. Because he's a veteran. Like, 90 zone coverage, 90 awareness, 90 play rec. Because he's, like, a vet. So, like, he's older, more wiser, not just to play fundamentals to football. But then you make him slow because he's got the other stats. Don't make everything bad because then there's no use for him. I truthfully don't understand the purpose behind the way they rate these cards. I really just don't understand them. Because again, I don't care what anyone says, Tremont Williams and Pierre Rousseau are not usable. There are better guys at that price, at that overall, that you'd rather have. I'd rather have Eddie Jackson with his high, with, with a good zone, similar speed, probably even cheaper. Or not even him, like you can just get Earl Thomas Power to pass for literally the same price of training. And then for Pierre Garcon, an alternative at an 85 would be like Alshon Jeffrey Mutt Superstar, Golden Tate Mutt Superstar. There's a lot better option than just that. Veterans have been botched all year. I don't know what they're doing with them. I think they just need to start dropping some better stuff. I mean, I don't, they gotta revamp what they're doing here because they don't have to drop the best cards in the game, right? But come on, 84 overall veterans, 86 overall heavyweights. There's already 91 overalls in the game. They're just dropping extra content just to make people pull packs, but no one's really falling for it for the most part because as you can see, not many people are opening packs. Jamal Williams, now 25 minutes in, has still not been posted on the block. So obviously, People know that you take take the hint, things aren't too good. Heavyweights need to be revamped. Heavyweights need to be at least 80, not 88 overalls at this point, or 89 overalls. They drop once a week, and other cards are beating them. Legends are, Kurt Warner's 93. Legends are already 91, 92 powered up. These veterans are 84s. They had better 84 overalls in the game when the game first dropped during the pre-release than they do now. It just doesn't make sense to me. The, all the Mutt Superstars are better 84 than these veterans are ever going to be. It's whatever. Guys, that's about it for the video. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to go down below. Smack the sub button. We're grinding out to 7K. Also, if you haven't already, turn on the notification bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video. And if you haven't already, comment down below what you think of these veterans. 
And let's get 85 likes in this video. I greatly appreciate that. If you're loyal and you watch this video, which I know you guys all do, likes help my channel a lot. So if you guys could just like the video, it'd mean a lot. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out.